So Kevin Durant is going to the Warriors. I mean, this if you are an NBA fan and you're looking forward to a lot of competition next year, this has got to be the most devastating thing ever. And some of so, some people on Twitter are saying that if Durant went to the Warriors, I'm not gonna play 2K anymore. The Warriors are definitely off limits. Yada yada yada. There's even one YouTuber that said that if Durant went to the Warriors, that basketball was dead to him. He was no longer gonna play 2K in his channel. I'm not. I'm not gonna say the name. But yeah, I, I don't blame him. I mean, this is just something that that just doesn't allow that will not allow teams to compete you know this will no, no longer be a competitive team it will kind of be like the 90s it will be it's like the Warriors and the rest of the team right now back in the 90s it was the Bulls and the rest of the teams in the NBA so right now it's the Warriors and the rest of the NBA and let me tell you the details of the contract and here it says, it says, Kevin Durant is signing a two-year, $54.3 million deal with the Warriors with a player option for year two. So this means that he might become a free agent next season. So depending on what happens this time around in, in this season, uh, he might decide to either stay with the Warriors or go somewhere else. And it's a wise, wise decision by him to only go for at least one year instead of having to go for a four, four year, five year deal. Because that way he can decide to go somewhere else if he's not convinced he can have something going in Golden State. Now, for at least one year, it's going to be really devastating for the entire league because... There will be no competition in the NBA. It will be like just give the, the just give the NBA Finals trophy to the Warriors because it will not there will be no worth in in going in and in even competing whatsoever. Now people might say 80 to a no right now, but first the Warriors must build even a little bit of chemistry with Kevin Durant. You know, there might be some struggles here and there at the beginning of the season. But nothing too big, honestly. As long as the Warriors find a way to keep Harrison Barnes and Andrew Bogut, the Warriors might just have their way in the regular season. I mean, uh, they could they could have Harrison Barnes in the bench and give him some decent minutes and keep Andrew Bogut. You know, the, the Warriors just should not move Andrew Bogut at all and should not let Harrison Barnes go. No matter if Kevin Durant is in the team. You know, if they do get to keep Harrison Barnes, they do have more options in the bench. They, they really do. And the team will have more bench depth because of it. But if they move Andrew Bogut, we won't have many options to the center spot other than going with Festus Zilli. You will have to be forced to go through a super small lineup. Sure, the Warriors have been super successful with that in the past, but the thing is that there will be times where that will not work. Just look at an example on most of the Thunders versus Warriors series. One of the reasons why the Thunder were winning games was because they were using their big man as an advantage. They were playing big against Golden State. If you try to play super small, if you if you try to out small ball the Warriors, you were going to lose. So the Thunder had the right idea throughout most of the series. Just try to be big against a super small lineup because this will help on the rebound category and if you have more rebounds overall it will help on the long run now the Warriors have 
more shooters overall. Sure, they had a great shooter. I'm sorry, they had a good shooter in Harrison Barnes. But by having Durant instead of instead of Barnes, you have a more reliable, consistent shooter in your side. And it's going to be a really dangerous thing for the rest of the league. So if you're an NBA fan, for one year you're going to see a lot of devastation, a lot of lack of competitiveness, a lot of lack of competition, I should say. So yeah, just... But let's just see how it goes. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. For more NBA 2016 PS3 in my career, I'll show you guys later. And I will keep you updated on what happens in the rest of the agency. See you guys next time.